Okie dokie, we are live. Sorry, we had a couple of false starts. I think we got it this time, though. So we are going to be talking about the autumn equinox and the rituals and sort of the purpose for them. And I'm going to just go on and start. The last couple of times I've done a live video, no one has shown up, but I wind up just posting it on the channel anyway. So I'm going to go on and just do this like it's just a regular video. And if people show up, then we can switch it up. And I'll just start talking to the people. Hey, Alec, we got somebody. Daniel! Oh, my God, you made it. I'm so freaking happy. Yay. <laughs> I was about to just start talking like I was making a video because I didn't know if anybody would come. Oh, yay. There's a lot of people here. This is awesome. Hey, y'all. Factfulness. Villafred. Hey, Danny. Oh, my gosh. Y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all are here. So I'm going to give it just a second. I know live videos in the beginning. You got to wait for people to get there. So I was wanting to make up a poem for the autumn equinox. You know how in Macbeth, double, uh, bubble, bubble, boil in trouble, that whole thing. Let's see. Amanita in the fall takes your hand and says, come, child, let's talk. Loki, the mischief one. He cries, come with me, we'll laugh inside until the wise old man comes along singing his song. It won't be long till the winter takes us all. And Mother Amanita in her wisdom she brings. She lays us down beside the stream and says, dear one, don't worry at all because the spring rains come and transform the fall into the spring and the summery dew. All of these gifts I give to you. Not bad, <laughs> just winging it. Uh, at least this is getting recorded because I won't remember it. <laughs> Hi from Nordic Estonia. Yep, Daniel, perfect timing. Oh, you smoked Amanita last night? How'd it go? I bet you feel great today. Nice. Thanks, Alec. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so full of shit. It's hilarious. Oh, okay, tea. I'll talk about this a lot till we get everyone up to speed on the tea thing. Clap, clap. Well, thank you, Jan. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, so I'm doing two teas because everybody hasn't had a chance to purchase the uh, the circular tea thing yet, the David's tea that we're all going to be using. And then this one was the one, the recipe that I made, that last tea recipe I did for the September tea. So, ow, okay, that's hot. I've been, I just made it and it's brewing. You made your mold tea. Isn't it great? The mold tea. I hope you keep this up. I love your channel. I hope I can try some of your trippy Egyptian blend soon. I'm actually... I kept some aside for myself and friends. I don't know. I may sell the rest of it. I'm wanting to clean everything out and shut everything down for winter, you know? I may. I don't know. Dude, you don't even know. It is so amazing. Look, it is colorful. Anyway, the recipe, it, there's apples. The recipe is, it's in another video. It's in the recipes playlist. But if y'all want to run away real quick and make a tea, it's going to be kind of an important part of this video. And then uh, if you purchased it, let me look in my enchantment and spell book and get the tea that if you did purchase, then today this is the one that we're going to be drinking. I'll make this one and drink it also because you can't have enough tea. I mean, you can't have too much tea. <laughs> so we're going to do the cinnamon rooibos chai. So if you bought the David's tea, go on and brew this up. If you did not, anything that's got cinnamon or anything fall-ish, if you don't have anything, any cinnamon you can throw just in a plain old green tea or whatever, then just make anything warm that you want. Because we're going to be using the tea in all this. That was so awesome. The tea or my stupid made-up poem. <laughs> right? Thanks, Lincoln. Hey, Logic, what's up? Oh, my God, this is great. 
You got your tea working, Lincoln? Cool. Yeah, I got this one working, but not this other one yet. Um, back to my enchantments and spells. There it is. Yeah, this one. All right. Shall we get started? Do you think everybody's here? 21 people are here, and I've already got five likes, y'all. Okay, so let's get started. First, we got to pay the bills. So let me tell you, we have three face masks now. So the new merch is being unveiled today, and it is Loki or the trickster Amanita, the one that is really in the... The American Amanitas are really prominent in this one, but look, y'all, the, the border around it, how freaking cool is this? Oh my God. So yeah, so there's the jokester and the trickster. And so this is the merch and it is now available. And I have three face masks, cause got this one, that's this logo. See, like that. That's the children outside <laughs> playing. Here we go. Anyway, that's this one. And then I also have, how's this look? Is it good? You like it? <laughs> Y'all don't even know how ridiculous I can be. I try to keep my shit together when I make videos. I'm going to show you pixels of the other two because they're on order. I ordered them too late for them to be here in time for the live video because I'm a dumbass. But this is what one of them looks like. You remember, I don't know if y'all remember this merch when I had it. This is one of my favorite merch. It's a black and white. Anyway, that's one face mask, this one, and then my logo, the power mushroom. What is that white coming in? Anyway. The link will be in the description. It's in the description of all my videos. So that paid the bills. That's enough of that. Let me catch up. See if anyone new is here. Oh, we're up to 30 folks. How are y'all? How the hell are you? Hey, Moringa. Oh, my God. Kick butt shirt and mask. Yes, right? Yay, Sean. Oh, my God. Everybody's here. Dave. Sounds like our government here in the UK. Really? You're going to talk to an American about your government? <laughs> we're not going there. We're going to behave. Let's talk about football. Okay, let me get my tea. It is so hot and tasty. You feel great. I feel like smoking it is a very effective way to interact with Amanita and ask for assistance. Okay. See, look, here's the thing about smoking it. Like, it's immediate. I th I'm think what else put in the tea, Lincoln. Mm-hmm. And let me know, Lincoln, whatever else you put in it. Um, you won. So, like, when I smoke it, it's immediate, and I instantly feel like I'm connected. But for some reason, it doesn't help like microdosing does long term. Like, it doesn't seem to do anything for my microdosing schedule. But I'm going to ask for assistance next time I smoke it. In all honesty, I'm not, I don't behave myself when I smoke it because I usually do it when I'm stressed out anxious and have a lot of work to do and I'll hit it and then just keep working. Like I don't even, I treat it like medicine and I just keep moving and I should probably just slow the fuck down. I am so glad you caught it too, Daniel. I am so glad you're here. Lemon. I don't know. I put orange in mine, but I don't know why lemon wouldn't be amazing. Wouldn't it be amazing? Because any citrus is going to help convert the Amanita anyway, right? You're tripping balls, Whitney. Well, welcome. Hey, <laughs> good trip with us. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to taste this. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, y'all. Are y'all done saying hello to each other? You found your first Amanitas? Oh, oh my God. I'm jealous. I want to find mine. It'll be a bit though. Um, Lincoln, the thing about smoking it, and I did too, you know, YouTube censored my smoking video. They blocked me for a week from my channel for it, and I got my first strike. So I moved it to bit shoot, but I did it on camera. And y'all, you should you could see me on there, y'all. It was awful. It was harsh. But a water pipe, a bong really does help, and you can't hit it really hard. 
you have to give the smoke a chance to move through the water to cool it down. It is harsh as hell, though. It really is. I didn't know you hadn't tried them yet, Daniel. Okay, look, Oak. Uh, acid and amanita. Amanita is an analog of the benzo of the GABA, which is what benzos do. And you take benzos to, to end an acid trip or to reduce it. So if you use acid and amanita, you're undoing or reducing the effectiveness of LSD. FYI. You're waiting on rain to go hunting, right? It's always that wait for rain, man. Green trickster tea. Will there be any anytime soon? Extra large green trickster. I didn't. I'll let me check on that on the shop info. Let me see. Because I don't control the sizes that are available. I that's I don't do that. They're a third party. They do all the fulfillment. I'll check on it, though. Hey, Taka. Polish people, man. Y'all always show up for my lives. Y'all are freaking awesome. Columbia, you moved to Canada. Now you can't find Amanitas. Any tips for Quebec? No, they're all over the place right now. They're 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 there. I have a video on where to look for them. So go there. Go watch that video. It's in my playlist for foraging them. Such a noob. Oh, Jan, leave, leave him alone. No, he's great. Y'all are hilarious. Aw. All right. A big patch of last year. Right, Sean? Y'all saw my foraging videos last year, man. And we've had so much rain this year. Weed plus smoke, blend in a joint. Steven, that's what I hear a lot of people do. They talk about it on the forum. Evidently, like, that's a whole thing. I just can't smoke weed. Weed and I don't get along. Dave, you and me both. I would, too. Hey, Taka. Oh, my God. What are you saying? Oh, my God, about found in Montreal. All right, then. How much is too much, Amanita? Uh, it's personal, chicken. Everybody's got to do it and feel it on their own, like their own levels. Reducing LSD effects. Yeah, Dustin, it does. Uh, you vape, Amanita? Okay. Uh, Yorn. Will you please message me on Instagram? I want to talk to you about that. I've been trying to find someone to talk to about vaping it. Please message me on Insta. You like how it feels in your lungs? Well, I just answered your question. Okay, chicken, watch the video. She answers yes, yes, yes. Anyone know if they're in eastern Pennsylvania? Yes. Uh, I have already seen a couple of people in, well, no, that's western Pennsylvania. There's in western Pennsylvania. I don't know about the east. Sorry. Prague, 10 this week, really? Oh, good for you. Oh, Taka, it's amazing you're saying hi to me. Like y'all are taking time out of your lives to come hang with me. That's freaking awesome. Order 90 grams from the Amanita shop. Oh, yay, Moringa, cool. Hey, Moringa, if you're anywhere near I-75, I'm going home on Monday. We could have a coffee. Sweden, man, I was supposed to be on a plane to Sweden this week if it weren't for the current state of global affairs. Any amanita on the West Coast? That's some pretty dry. Has it really? I didn't know that because it's been really wet out here. Um, this was a fast one. Off to work. Okay, Stephen, thank you for popping in. You're awesome. Okay. Let's talk, y'all. So this is fun, but we're here to do some work because we all need rituals in our lives. And I don't know about you, but I lost the connection to most of my rituals and the things that I celebrate that I was raised on. They don't fit my life now. And I don't fit in with most of the fall rituals that society has created for us. So I had been just devoid of rituals. And then Amanita changed everything. And now I want rituals in my life again because I was too stressed out and too anxious to really deal with any rituals. You know, my life was chaotic. It was just survival. And then, you know, when you're trying to die, you don't really care about rituals. But ever since Amanita, now I care. And now she's teaching me about the nuances. And here's the thing about paganism or Wiccan 
or just earth-based philosophy stuff or just the mushroom in general. I used to think it was bullshit. I used to think it was people just trying to look for meaning where there is none because they were bored because they didn't have modern technology. So I was so stupid and wrong. And now that I am very connected to myself, to the earth, and my life is more sane and subtle, I feel it now, naturally, not because I read it anywhere, I felt it and then I went and said, what is this I'm feeling? Why do I feel like I want to do this at this time of year? Why do I feel like this is what I'm connected to at this time of year? You know, and it just seemed to coincide with all the people who'd gone before me that were like, oh, of course you do, dear child, because this is what's going on on the planet. And it was it was confirmation for me. And so what we're about to do is we are heading into well, right now is the the gratitude part of fall, and that's what the equinox is. But the equinox goes a little further from the gratitude and says, it's time to just be still for a minute and prepare for some things. So today we're going to talk about gratitude, but we're also going to talk about the preparation. Emily. She can't hear me. She's got earbuds on. Anyway, she's she's drinking and her drink is empty and it's got ice in it. And that's what y'all are hearing. She did my set dressing. She's in school for marketing, you know, and graphic designing and stuff. So she did my set. If you want to tell Emily anything, she can't hear us right now. So the first thing that the Equinox says is let's slow down for a minute because life is about to get a little more difficult and that's not even including what's going on politically, just in general with a lot of work for the harvest. And then I'm going to throw something at her. It's just a mask. Don't worry. Hey, your ice is rattling. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. Um, and once the, all that work is over and you settle in, it's going to get cold. And you're going to start feeling worried about making sure you've got enough to get you through. Well, we don't have to worry so much about that. And in a way we do with all of the shutdowns and everything, like, do you have everything you need? Because honestly, we can just order it and it can be delivered. But, but, but something happens to us. And I don't know if it's in our DNA because all of our ancestors for thousands of years had to deal with this, but we still get that sense of anxiety I think we get bored. Like even if you have a job, a ritual, a purpose, a, a schedule, there's something about the winter where you're just constantly in clothing and hold up inside. And there's just this constriction to it. And there's just this sense of, oh my God, will this ever end? And the lack of sunshine and the overcast skies and the, you know, people just tend to hunker down. It's harder to get people to have fun with you or to play games. Oh, my gosh. I see something pop up. A green thing. Oh, my God. Chris. Thank you. It's freaking awesome. Sending love and positivity to feed your cats. Yes, man. Oh, my God. Y'all. I can't help it. I have too many cats, but I'm stopping. So six cats is a lot to feed. Thank you. You're awesome. Thank you. So it's no lie that winter is, it's not as fun, you know? And if you're really connected to the earth and you go outside a lot, you're used to the concept of death. It's when everything dies back and you can see the skulls of the animals that were attacked or died or whatever on trails and out in the woods and stuff when, they, when it happened in the summer. That's when I tend to find the antlers that were dropped and the bones that I find. But also the trees, you know, you can see better, but everything looks wily and skeletony and there's no life everywhere, you know, and that's that whole concept of death. And it can be beautiful in its own right. I mean, it, it is, especially with snow on the ground. So it's not negative for us as, like it used to be. It's not bad. It's just not as fun. But if you get out and we'll talk about that in the winter, just cover up, layer up and get out. We can mitigate some of that. So what it asks us to do in addition to the gratitude is just stop and think about the shit you don't like thinking about, like 
the elders and ancestors that you've buried that you miss? What about any relationships that you think you probably screwed up and you lost them because of something you did, but you're older and wiser and, you know, we all make mistakes. Animals that you were lucky enough to be friends with or family members with that have died. We think about them, but it's different now because, yeah, you mourn. And I have a couple of deaths that I'm mourning. But at the same time, there's something about them that I know is in me. Parts of them live in me. And that whole idea of carrying their spirit, I thought was bullshit. Like that's more human, like putting shit in their bullshit. But now I'm like, you know, I feel... I feel strongly that that animal is alive because I'm replaying our life. I'm replaying moments of our lives together. And in that way, I, it's like a movie in my head. They're still animated. The spirit of them, I hold it because I awaken it every time I remember them and I put them in motion or I talk about them. And the same with my grandmother. She's the most important human in my life that taught me everything that I am that's good. And I was there for her, for her death. I was the last human she laid eyes on and I, I watched her die. And the joy in that, that she was there for my birth and I was there for her death. And to this day, I mean, it's been eight years since her death and I still get teary because she was so important. But at the same time, almost everything I do for the holidays, everything that I cook, ways that I clean my house, that's her moving through me. This is what the autumn equinox is asking you to do. What I just did, do the same thing. Because this time of year is about gratitude, but also letting go, death, the changing of things. So we'll be talking about all this more when we do next month's video. We will do, what is next month? October. We'll definitely get into death a lot in October. And then November, we'll get into the shift and the change, getting ready to go into the winter solstice. And then in December, we'll do the winter solstice. So we'll do one a month. Don't forget to buy your tea, that David's tea. I'll put a link to it in the description. We're about to drink this tea. If you did buy it, I'm sure most of you haven't yet, but we're going to do the rooibos chai here in a minute. And right now I'm drinking the apple one and I'm going to catch up with my chat over here. If you will give me a minute. 52 people. <gasps> oh, I'm so honored. Thank you. Moringa, you're going to come see me seriously. Will you? Okay. Hey, Jan. Thanks for the cats. Villafred, what are you LOLing? Have you ever let dry manina water stand in the sun for a day? Mr. Toadstool, the sun thing, the European amanitas actually in the presence of sunlight converts ibotenic acid to muscazone, but no other amanitas do that, just the European ones. So that's a thing. Bone hunting season, right? See, yeah, fish teeth, exactly. Totally, being outside every day changed my life in rainy Seattle. I want to visit Seattle. Learning so much from videos. Oh, thank you, Kirk. Hey, Elin. Oh, my God. You always send the cutest little emojis. Yes, they do live through us. Oh, Elin, you're so... Daniel. Well, thank you. Sometimes I think I'm boring. It does make a lot of sense. I feel you so hard on this. My granny was my biggest influence. Dustin, right? Going to rewatch later. I have to get driving. Jennifer, okay, later. See you. Thanks for checking in. Hey, Amnita Dreamer. Nice to see you, Spencer. Wyatt. Yay. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for the super chat. You know why these super chats are good to me? Because YouTube ad revenue is so like nothing. I make about a hundred dollars every two or three months from the ads generated, which is better than nothing. I'm not knocking it. However, they don't pay us until we make a hundred dollars, but the super chats go into that. And if it, whenever it hits a hundred, we get paid. And so sometimes when I do a live, these super chats are enough to put me over and I actually will get paid two or three days later. So 
Thank you. It means a lot. Dude, your Gasowies in Michigan, Kirk, y'all are on fire. Ah, uh, you better be keeping your Gasawi. They're ones that I want to try. I haven't tried them yet. Hell yeah. You know about Shrimmy Schmatty. I He's one of the channels I follow. And we're talking about me going up in a couple of weeks to go look for some Gasawi. And we're going to do like a collaboration video. But that's all he's got are the Gasawis. They're, they're amazing. Have you read the Sacred Mushroom? Oh, yeah. Cochran. That was the very first thing I found on my very first search about my very first Amanita <laughs> was that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wicca and all you're saying really relates to the growth and the aging of the goddess. This time of year is the dark mother's time and it really shows all around. Oh, cool. That's cool. Kirk, yeah, they're the same as the reds. So good and healthy. Oh, well, you're so sweet. You shut down a phone call because we will not be interrupted. <laughs> okay, Daniel, <laughs> I like your commitment. Please and thank you. As a friend and I are about to dose and been watching for a minute now. Cannot wait. Oh, Kirk. Um, Kirk, if you want to message me on Instagram, we can talk about that. Mitchell. Hey, girl, I'm on the road. but going to try and stop soon so I can get on this. Love your content. Try to support when I can. Don't you love my shirt? Thank you. I love it, too. Michigan. Masawi. Okay, cool. Michigan, Lot and Sally. Okay. Found 50 in one search. Okay, Kirk. Yeah. Hit me up on Insta or the forum on the forum. If you don't have Instagram, find me on the forum. But I won't know what your username is, so make sure you tell me who you are. Like, give me a reference for it. Uh, spore prints don't matter because you can't grow Amanita. I mean, you can try to put them around the base of a tree, but you got about a 5% chance it's hit or miss. Uh, you don't see it last week when you look last. Mitchell, this shirt is available now. It's up and running. Thank you for asking. Yes, it is available now. One of these days, I gotta, you got Georgia on your mind. Dude, I've been actually thinking I need a Jeep. That's hilarious. I do need a Jeep. Okay, did I miss any? I'm curious, what psychedelics have you tried? Wyatt, I can't because they're illegal and I live in a state and a county the cops say, come for vacation, leave on probation, and they're proud of it. They think it's funny. And with me having such a, a public face and a channel like this, I have to stay squeaky clean. So um, I have some information about possibly psilocybin. We're working on a trip for that. Not a trip. Working on an actual flight <laughs> to trip on a trip. <laughs> okay. The forum, the, um, our, my forum, look in the description of any of my videos and I have a link to it. It's, it's our Amanita forum. It's, it's just for us. You are ignorant, but now you're not. Now you have been informed, Kirk. Uh, law enforcement are so discriminatory. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Spencer, LSD seeds are, LSA seeds are legal. Yeah. But what are you supposed to do with them except stare at them? <laughs> Mitchell, thank you. Y'all are so freaking kind. This is great. Y'all are going to bump me over, I think. I don't know where I am on the YouTube ad revenue, but y'all are probably going to bump me over. I'll probably get paid Tuesday. Bee buds. Do I, oh, wait. Fish tea. Do amnies grow around tree farms? I hear that. I hear that they grow in pine especially around pine farms or like Christmas tree farms. I hear that a lot. That's actually a thing. But if you go to my playlist on foraging, like where to forage or whatever, I have a video on what kinds of trees are in your area. And if you look in the description, it's like by country and by region. Okay, B-Buds, you're trying Amanita for the first time. You pick them, dried them, you want to smoke them, bong or spliff. Definitely bong because the smoke is harsh and you definitely want ice water in it. Definitely. Headed out on a hunt tomorrow. Dustin, good. Perfect conditions here in Europe. Awesome. Awesome. Keep us posted. Kirk, you like cubes? Well, I wouldn't know. Hopefully soon. Eat the seeds? Okay. Why not? That's such good news. I'll check that out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was one of the first things I did is I wanted us to have a place where we could talk, a forum where we could all hang out. And it came together really quickly. 
So it's going on. It's been over a year since we started the forum. Healthy patch and army under a spruce. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. You're going to be gangy warrior? Okay, just message me on there. You've got to make sure you go to your email and, you know, answer it and all that before you can use the messaging system. Okay, the seeds are legal. Gotcha. Yeah, Kurt, you dry it, and then when it's cracker dry, just scrape the gills out, crush it up in a in a grinder and smoke it. A lot of people use Zoom. I'm thinking about doing that for my patrons, actually. One of them asked me to do Zoom. So I'm going to, what this does is it's recording it on the YouTube platform and automatically puts it in, you know, on my channel. I don't have to do that. But with my patrons, I'm probably going to start doing Zoom videos. Okay. Some more tea. All right. Let's talk about the tea. Now, here's the thing about the tea rituals. I have a video on how to do a tea ritual and how to make it a, a ritualistic practice. So we're going to go through it together. And if you don't have your tea, get your tea. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to just get your senses involved and feel the warmth of it, right? That's the most important part. Feel the warmth of the cup. This sounds ridiculous in a world that is screaming at you and busy all the time. But if you slow down, breathe, and let your mind keep racing, and just keep bringing your mind back to the warmth on your hands. It takes a minute because there's inertia in the busyness. but we feel the breath and we feel the warmth. Okay, let's smell it. So the first thing that hits me is cinnamon. And the first thought I got was how many human beings on this planet before me held something warm in their hand and went and had that cinnamon experience. How many? How many countries? How many decades back? In middle Europe? Somewhere in Germany? Out in a forest? In a city? What about England? The spice trades? What about in America? When the first peoples were introduced to it from the white men? Like Canada and Australia when it got taken there. There's so many human beings that have smelled cinnamon. This sounds stupid, but think about it. It's like a rite of passage that by now our DNA is intricately linked to smells like this. And then with our culture and our own lives and experiences, we're tied to this smell and the concept of warmth and safety. And it's that safety that tells us that within that, we are free to think about the difficult things that we're letting go of. What are you letting go of right now? Just Think of one thing that you're easily letting go of or one thing that you're having a really hard time letting go of. I'm having a hard time letting go of the before times. Before the C word um, pandemic thing, before life changed, and it's tied into the season of all the other places and times that I've lived when I had this in my hand and my children were young and we were picking apples together or getting ready to do like the pumpkin patch thing. Like I missed their childhood. I miss my youth, my naivete. I missed when I did belong to ridiculous rituals like football and the camaraderie in it. And I missed the before times when life was simpler and I thought it wasn't. 
and I'm trying to let it all go and face the current realities of our current political climate, global climate, and the loneliness that I think we all sort of feel right now. And then I remember, look at us, we're not lonely. Can I catch up now? Okay, aw, Villa Fred, I love Germany. I've been twice. Aw, Jarmu, well, cool, thank you. <laughs> Off topic, but nice makeup. Oh, you don't even know I suck at makeup and I actually took a little bit of time today. <laughs> so thank you. That means a lot. Daniel, I'm glad you're focused on it. Thanks for taking it seriously. I wonder if sometimes. <laughs> calm your mind of anxiety. You know, Fish, it's it's weird. Nothing used to help me calm my anxiety until Amanita. And now it's in here and in here, you know. I love Terrence and Paul. Yeah, definitely. Big fan. Uh, feeling the warmth. Cool, Alec. Aw, thank you, Dustin. Oh, Spencer, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> Let me show my appreciation. Would you like a couple of? Sure. Oh, Shane. Please. My address is in the description of all my videos. That would be great. Every time I go check my mail, I don't have anything. That's not ever, that three times I've had something there, but that's fine. That's cool. That would be great. That would be awesome. Let me ask T eat or smoke for first experience. Kirk. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to go with smoke. I think smoke. Um, Fish, when I met the elders, it was not an easy experience and I have it. You can watch me do it on video. It's under the playlist. I do mushrooms and it's the European Amanita one. When I do the European ones, in your opinion, want a memorable experience. Kirk, I'm going with smoking. I'm going with smoking. All right, Shane. Cool. Thank you. That's really sweet. Take this channel seriously. So do I. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah. Sometimes I think I take it too. Too seriously, when you lose sleep over something, maybe you're taking it too seriously. Oh, Moringa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah, I have private conversations a lot with patrons on there. <laughs> okay, Kurt. This is wonderful. Oh, April. Thank you for being here. Oh, Sai. You're awesome. Y'all are awesome. Oh, my God. Okay, it's time for tea number two for those of you that purchased this tea. I realize very few of you have, but. Mm. Oh, my God, that tastes like apple pie. It's so good. Are any of you drinking your tea? Would any of you like to tell me what it is that you're having a hard time letting go of if you would be willing to share it? We have about 15 minutes left. I have a date with my daughter. I'm here in Florida hanging out with her. Aw, fish. Hmm. Smoking blend is going to be my friend's first experience. Oh, uh, yeah, but Dustin, the thing about my smoking blend is it's made to just be like a calming experience. If you want like a real true talk to your elders experience, you need to just smoke Amanita by itself. No, I, what I was doing, Chris, with that is I put myself on in a study here, not here, I'm in Florida, but up in Georgia, but the drive down to Atlanta was going to be too much and I was going to have to go too often. So I didn't do it. What I was trying to do was find someone who lived in Colorado to just actually go up there and do it. But I had one contact and they had things happen in their lives and it fell through. So that's how that was. Oh, yeah, right. Time zones. Good. <laughs> that worked out in your favor. Can you smoke the caps or just underneath? Just you only take the gills out because it's just wasted material because there's no actives in the gills. And then you just smoke the skin, you know, the caps that, that are left. You didn't know about the event. Just got the notification. Oh, cool. But you came in anyway, working in a video game about mass slaughters happening in Columbia to help send a message. Oh, wow. Dang, that's heavy. Um, 
Oh, nice. You didn't miss it. Hey, Lars. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, just scrape the gills out. If it's cracker dry, the gills come right out. You just use your thumb and just scrape them out and then crush up the, the caps. To reassure yourself they are indeed safe. Then this is perfect, Dustin. Yeah, that smoke blend's good for that. So right now I made this tea for this video, but if you want to go get a tea or you can just wait and watch the live over again. Like those of you that are just joining us, we just did the tea ceremony and talking about tea as a meditative practice, but I'm going to do this every single month. And there is a tea collection, David's tea. They make two different huge collections and there's like 40 teas in it. And we're going to do this once a month. We're going to come together and we're going to do a tea ritual and we're going to use eat a, a different tea out of that set. So I'll put the link to that in the description of this video when we close it down. And today's is this tea. It's their rooibos chai. And I was also doing this one because we had just done the recipe for it. And I didn't think enough people had had time to purchase this one. Would one of you heat me up some water? Would you heat me up water? I, ha I set a mug beside the tea kettle for this one. Would you mind? Can you get by? Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. Yeah, a monthly tea in. I like that. Y'all, we should get shirts for it. I want shirts for everything. I'm such a nerd. Since you can't share ayahuasca, mom base, back on my field, embrace mushrooms as my teachers. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. A tea club. Yeah, exactly like that. You know what, Lincoln? I've never had rooibos until I made this tea recipe, and it was the first time that I'd ever tried it. And I am a fan. I am addicted now. Like, I love it. I had no idea it was so good. Um, Kokoron, you've had a few more trips. DMT was a good one, but I don't think I could ever convince my friends to try it again. Oh, did they have a bad experience? Um, we'll have the Amanita Tea Club. That's what we'll call Well, we got to do something. This whole idea of a tea club y'all are pushing is a good one. I'm liking it. Me too. I think it's cool. We're up to 54 people? Y'all, 54 people. That's crazy. Y'all are awesome. Mm. I missed a, chat, uh, a comment that I wanted to see. Where'd it go? Someone was letting us know something they're having a hard time letting go of. Let me go back up. Okay. Any event, I'm saying that wrong and I am so sorry. You're having a hard time letting go of your mom, the land that nourished, the rituals of the natives, their sacred medicine and plants. And Oh, that's a lot. I'm so sorry you're having to let your mom go. I can't imagine. And the land. That's a lot. The rituals of the natives, their sacred medicine. Do you do those rituals yourself? Did, did you keep them or do you have to let them go for a reason? Daniel, your mycophobia folks. Yeah, I think a lot of people are learning to work past mycophobia. And I think a lot more people are going to, don't you? Several of friends who had bad trips can't get back on the horse. Yeah. I have a video in the works right now about bad trips. Also, a death to psychonautica, my uh, YouTube brother, he did one on bad trips. It's excellent. So, Kokoran, go to a death to psychonautica. I think I have like a playlist of channels I endorse, and you can see where we did a collaboration there. But go there, and when you go to his channel, um, find his video on on bad trips and have your friends see it. I think that may actually help them. Just an idea. Okay. Where are we? Am I caught up? A lot more witches have been harvesting Amanita. You know what? I had not heard of the Amanita and then like witchcrafting or alchemy or anything until recently. And I think you're right. I think it's getting... I think it's coming back on the scene. That darkness that we went through where this mushroom was sort of blacklisted or whatever, 
I think that period is over and a lot of people are waking back up to the benefits of it. I haven't tried GABA Pu'er. Is Pu'er, why would it have, I don't know anything about Pu'er having a GABA connection to it. I love Pu'er though. Thank you. For the tea, okay. Okay, perform some of the rituals you learn with mushrooms or simply as a seasonal celebration, but most of them were linked to sacred plants that only the shamans can cook. Oh, okay, I get it. Right. And there's no way you can go back or visit. Lemon balm. I have lemon balm at home and I don't use it. So I need to, eh? I'm needed today. See, gathering is tonight. No, this is my gathering. You're at it, <laughs> Michael. These ayahuasca churches are kind of offensive. Yeah, I haven't been looking into much of them, but I know Adeptus Psychonautica, he does reviews of them and talks about some of them. I think it just depends on where you go. It's also kind of a fad now and a big moneymaker thing. A lot about rituals. Like it makes me do a natural pattern sort of rituals. Lincoln, I feel the same way. I mean, that's, look at this channel. Like Amanita's doing all this to me. I feel like I'm along for the ride. Race and told how dangerous Amanita are. Well, it's every day for me. I'm on Instagram and a lot of mushroom groups and it's just every day. Fear, 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 bad information. Cochran, you have a great quote for me? Share it, share it, share it, share it. Amanita retreat. That would be fun. You're not the first one, Moringa. A lot of people are asking for it. I've been thinking about it, trying to figure out how that would work. Classic toast to Amanita. Yep, yep. After crying, I'll sure go back. But I came to fill my dream of making video games. Um, one of my kids is involved in that. I tried them with GABA. Normally smoke it with cannabis. That's the thing. I mean, Amanita and cannabis, a lot of people do. Small Q on smoking, so to speak. How many hits? How do? Um, Kirk, it's it's personal. You find your own sweet spot with it. And if you're not in a good place, you hit it again. If you want more, you hit it again. That's all I do. I just, I use it until I feel like I'm where I need to be. Uh, made by fermenting tea in a vacuum chamber before rolling for several cycles. Oh, okay. Crazy. I only know about uh, the poo air with the fermentation thing. There's one in Orlando, but expensive. I'm close to Orlando. Oh, thank you. I hope so. I hope I'm doing it right. I haven't tried lemon balm. No, Lars, I haven't. I have some, but I haven't, I haven't done it. Daniel, the idea of a chemical church, maybe a group of like men, and once you add rules and structure, I'm out. Yeah, well, that's me. <laughs> that's me, exactly. I try not to be too harsh about it, but yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Very first sacred hunt last week was in luck. It was so special. I was in awe. Nicoletta, there's no words, right? Like when you try to explain to someone what it's like hunting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I get it. Created as a field in which love may meet. Oh, that's beautiful. All of this is going to be saved. You can all read this later after this is over. So thank you for leaving that there. I tried Amanita before. I've been researching it for four months. A little shy, super excited. Nicoletta, look, I won't judge. I was scared to death. The only reason I tried it immediately without waiting was I was desperate and I was suicidal. I was like, well, if it kills me, so what? And then it turned around and saved my life and gave birth to all this. Never tried Amanita before. I've been researching. Oh, wait. Oracle, uh, definitely would love to assist with Amanita. Okay. Uh, message me on Instagram. I make notes from Instagram. Can one of you plug in the laptop? We have five minutes. Laptops in need of sustenance, please. We have five okay. <laughs> My kid is giving me a hard time. Over there? No. Well, all right. Well, my battery is about to die. We are running out of time. I've got places to go, things to do, people to see. Yeah, Daniel, I agree. They are I'm trying to learn to weave a basket. I have been trying to basket weave and I'm so intimidated. I won't start. 
how messed up is that? Like I'll get everything ready and I feel so overwhelmed and that I can't do it that I don't even try. And I'm not even like that in real life, like about anything. There must be some lessons in basket weaving. Thank you, Dustin. You're very welcome from my heart. All right. I'm about to go, y'all. We got to go. Got to go. Got to go. Yeah, it is overwhelming. Okay. Thanks for the validation. Thanks so much. You're a great company. Well, y'all are great company. Y'all, we get to do this again next month. It'll be the second Saturday of every month. Make note of it. Also, don't forget to get a face mask. We've got, oh, I threw it at you. Can you throw it back? Oh, I threw it at, at Emily. I think it's on the ground over there. You threw it back? No, I didn't make it. But did you throw it back? It didn't make it to It's over there somewhere. I threw my face mask. We've got this face mask that is my logo. And then we've got one from back in the spring, the black and white one. And then we've got the one that is this one. And they're really, really soft and it helps the channel. And I'll put the link in the description when this is over, but it's also in the description of all my videos. And I have one in real life right here that we're throwing around the room. This is how much it covers if you just really want to challenge yourself anyway it's really soft I like all right that pays the bills thank you for your super chats thank you for showing up you are beautiful people and I am so grateful that you came here today and we'll do this again on the second Saturday of October where we will talk about death yay <laughs> enjoy your tea y'all happy Saturday thank you for coming you are wonderful people. May the Amanita bless you and keep you and help you. You can hit me up on Instagram. You can hit me up on our forum. You're half Viking. Seriously, Moringa, I didn't know that. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, much love. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You're going to be an Amanita for Halloween. Okay, I want to do that too. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, y'all. I love you, beautiful people. Yay! Bye.